All right, we have a detector. So it is giving it out to you in microsieverts per hour, which is a dose rate. Now these numbers are very low, a lower dose rate than you would get on a flight, but it is indicating elevated relative to the rest of the environment. Okay, that one went up to 12, but a spike doesn't automatically mean it's uranium by itself. Could be thorium, could be radium, or even radon daughter products that are stuck to the rock. Laddie well, used a glove to pick it up. Now, it's pretty low activity, that number's not very high, but the dust is going to be the bigger hazard. After all, alpha emitters aren't scary until they're inside you. Then they can be quite scary, so don't eat it. Ah, the light test. Uranium minerals do glow because of the fluorescent crystal structure, not because of radiation. So this test tells you pretty rock, not nuclear rock. After all, this is more geology than radiology. Oh, and now the cloud chamber. Get it set up. Uses chilled alcohol. Turn it on. And yes, those little streaks you see there are alpha and beta radiation ionizing supersaturated vapor. Now what I will say is this will just tell you that something is radioactive, not how much or whether it's useful. It's cool to look at though. You can see the alpha streaks are thicker and the beta ones are long and skinny. Fun demo. And a bigger rock. Though to really identify something, you need to do spectrum analysis. After all, a cloud chamber is just a radiation fireworks show.